All right, this is Capitan Fong in the building. We're going to talk about Sense 4.0. All right, so um, I'll ah, picture my mommy. Sense allows you to have these customized lock screens, which are pretty cool. Um, allows you to put um, types of apps, your wallpaper, um, your, uh, it could be a slideshow of your images. It could be, um, that's about anything actually. Quite a few different things you can have as your lock screen background. It could be weather, it could be your notifications, it could be anything. So I like this um, slideshow thing, it goes through my pictures, um, it's pretty cool. Here you have these little icons that you can drag into the circle to allow you to access these things quickly, like your camera. Oh, there I went to my camera by accident. Alright, um, your mail. Alright, now it's going to be face on a lot. The cool thing about um, the HTC lock screen, I'm going to get back to that, is that it actually um, allows you to experience your lock screen before your security measures. So if you have widgets or you know something special set up there you want to see, it, it goes there. Now, I have my phone set that after I turn it off, that it won't lock until three minutes after of in inactivity. So if I want to go back in the phone quickly, I won't have to unlock again. But it goes from here to the face unlock. So I could go to my, um, my camera, my messages, my mail, or my phone, which is cool. Um, uh, so you can see lock screen is very cool. So back into the phone. Sense is very nice with some really cool widgets. I would have shown some of this before. The music widget. It displays the album art. It um, has the switching of the nice animations and stuff. Also you see a recently played stuff beneath there. If I was to switch, it will open your music player. And it will play the last song that I would have had selected. And it's very good and uh, very useful. As you can see the music player is it? Yes, you see music player. So this is all part of the whole sense experience. I tend to like uh, yes, you see sense, no, the new yes, you see sense because I've never loved a sense before. Better than um, better than um, the stock Android experience. Um, and I'll another on the screen and show you the different widget types they have. So to add a widget, you just do the usual hold on screen stuff. We have this widget thing, which is kind of similar to how um, TouchWiz is, but it looks different, it looks unique. So they have really cool apps that you want to see, like they're party launchers, like um, SPD 3D Shell. So you could put a calculator there as a widget, which is pretty cool. And have different color calculators. So you go up here and they could like. Yeah, it's cool, like an instant calculator that access and you need to calculate. There are really cool features outside of the widgets. I don't really use as much widgets, I like more of a minimalist. Because the, cal the calculators have different styles and stuff in terms of buttons, so it really allows you to get something that matches your feel. Um, there's the traditional bookmarks widget, which I think is a Google widget, so um, that's nothing uh, to freak out about. I don't have any bookmarks saved yet, or they haven't loaded, I can't remember. Um, what other widgets do I have? You have the calendar, which comes in different formats. So it could be like this. Notice if I select a widget, there's no space, it automatically creates a new home screen. So we're going to look at the two different calendar widgets. I'm just going to sync all my calendars. And the HTC calendar syncs with all your other calendars. So you can see it looks really cool. This is the agenda format, which will eventually load stuff. It's just loading in all my different calendars, which is quite a bit. So you can see the loads in birthdays, events from Facebook, events from my Google Calendar, etc. So um, you have the basic calendar which is here, and you click a date, it will open the HTC calendar application which apparently it's Jarek's Bidenow's birthday today, aka Jazzy's from Clan EXS. So I guess that's an unofficial shout out. Happy birthday sir. Back to my widgets. Right, so there's a mini calendar widgets, there are quite a few clock widgets that look really cool. A lot of different types of clocks. I think this, but my favorite is this one here. Alright. Oh, you can choose the city, I'm going to choose current location. Alright, and then there's um, the weather clock. There's a, a clock that has your social feed on it, which is pretty cool as well. I'll put it on the other screen and take a look at that just now. The mini clocks and stuff. There's the FM radio. Um, Flipboards widget. Well, these widgets now are the third party widgets that would have come in with my um, 
stuff locations as you see how it's there never used it don't care to um, the music widgets are here and they're pretty cool it's full screen half screen and a 4x1 people widget is always very cool I'm gonna put that on there you take a look there's many different versions of the people widget I'm gonna use uh, my favorites there we go and then there's this one here is just a bar and this one here seems to give social information so you're gonna use the other favorites alright and yeah and then there's the photo album or the photo frame widget and there's a photo grid widget I'm completely a lock screen so let's look at these first alright so we got this clock which I said is my favorite clock of the HTC clocks it's very cool we have the social clock which hasn't seemed to load the social stuff yet alright so we'll show you social feeds in this little bottom area here and it just cycles through them as stuff happens which is cool and um, I find that yeah, there you go, the people widget find these widgets are cool, they're all scrollable you actually see it was like the first of the stuff you have your pictures of your contacts and stuff and your favorite folder and widgets and people and stuff show up and then there's the other people's widget, which gives, um, it's updating right now, but basically what it does, it will show a social feed, um, which is updating, I guess, it'll come back to that, well, that's the last widget. So we'll go into some more, for that updates, um, the photo grid, I wanted to see that, I don't think I have any compromising photos on here, so it should be cool. Alright, I'm going to try a photo album. Alright, so these are all part of the sense experience, the widgets, though I don't really use them. Uh, at some point I'm going to fully customize the device, I'm still in there a few days in. Well, I like the photo grid, it's pretty cool. Especially for a dedicated, um, a dedicated uh, gallery portion. I think I'm going to use this widget and keep it out. It's a really cool effect. Very right close to you see it's like flipping these three-dimensional boards, this is sick. This is the traditional photo album where you just flick up, which is nice as well too. The HTC widgets are very awesome, I must admit. Um, I'm going to find myself using more of these now I've actually taken the time to look through them. So I guess I should thank you for being here. This thing is still up there, huh? Oh well. Um, it has a nice layout. I may consider using it as well too for quick access to my contacts. I'm just going to delete this for now and then choose the appropriate folder I want. There you go. Oh, I tried to resize it. I need to hold it down. And drag it into remove. Alright, so I'm going to delete these access on the screens that I created. I'm going to leave this uh, photo gallery one. I really like that. What else can I show you about Sense uh, 4.0 that I may have uh, be forgetting? Um, this is the, the um, app draw. It has the ability to show the frequent apps, the ones you use more regularly, and the ones you would have downloaded, excluding the ones that came on your phone. Um, I find the overall experience to be very cool. Um, the folders are nice. If I want to add stuff to a folder, I can click add and select it. I may have shown that in the previous video. But yeah, so far I find Sense to be a better experience than Star Android. Um, like it quite a bit. Um, to be honest, their widgets are awesome as I said. And again, it may like to take a lot of photos. This particular widget comes in really handy. The camera is amazing, which isn't really part of Sense, but the camera interface, I guess you can say, is part of Sense, because that is customized by HTC. Those who you can record video and take pictures at the same time, you have access to a tremendous amount of filters, um, tremendous amount of settings, um, paranormal, portrait, HDR, group portrait, landscape, whiteboard, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with the interface here, and then there's even more settings you can get. Um, the front facing camera, which is something I always forgot to mention, the front facing camera on this thing, I'm not sure, when you go take a photo, it shows the megapixel megapixel as a 1 megapixel camera, but it is 720p resolution, which is pretty awesome, as you can see here, image resolution and video resolution is 1280 by 720 that's pretty cool for, um, yeah, a uh, thing, a jiggy bob, yeah, front camera. So yeah, that is my quick look through of the Sense UI. Um, the only thing I want to mention in the other video lacking is some, you know, hot widget things like in the, the task manager area. 
uh, info bar notification area. There's usually some widgets out here you get from HTC that allow you to, I mean, Samsung, allow you to swipe through um, different quick options like turn off Wi Fi and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is a quick sense. 4.0 look, I can say I definitely love it. If I was to rate it, I rate it as the best uh, user experience I've had on an Android phone on a stock launcher. Probably better than most of the launchers I would have paid for as well. So I definitely um, I'm feeling the uh, oh, there's one more thing. That's an Apple moment there. The task manager, which is this customized thingy that they have, which is our task switcher. It's really quick to switch between apps, and you just swipe away app to close it. Um, it was really cool for switching between apps quickly, especially if you're going back and forth. You just tap the button, you get in there, and you pick the app, and you go to it. It's pretty cool. I do notice that when it goes to the app, it like, takes a second and refreshes, but it's just a second. So yeah, that's it. Sense. I'm out.